Welcome back, guys. Thanks to a close friend of mine, I got my hands on the Walmart Force Friday Pop Vinyl Exclusive. I'm going to do a review on this, but before I get into that, let's check out the packaging. As you can tell, it says the Sand Trooper and uh, Dewback 2-pack. And you can, see, you can see the figures clearly in the front. It's very nice. It has the Walmart only exclusive sticker on there. Let's check out the sides. On the sides, it shows uh, the picture of the Dewback and the uh, Sand Trooper. And it has the name of the Dewback on that side. And we'll check this side. And this side says Sand Trooper and it has the same picture. Let's check the top. And it has both of them barely showing right there. And you can see in the big bold letters pop on there and let's check the back of it and as you can see it shows the other images of uh the rest of this wave on here uh hopefully i could get my hands on those if not this will do all right let's get into the close-up of these pop vinyls and i'll unpack this for you guys and come right back to it all right welcome back guys we got this sand trooper out of the packaging and let me tell you he has really good sculpting on him uh he has excellent paint apps on him too he has the light gray on his helmet along with the black accents and he has this uh, blue accent on his helmet which looks really good and clean. Um, he has a shoulder pad that has some sculpting on it and it's a nice orange color. He has black throughout the joints of his armor. He has a staff that's mostly all black except the tips of him which has this really nice gunmetal color. And on the back of him he has a very nice detailed pack with blue accents and uh, some copper accent right here which looks really nice and along with that he's also weathered all over his armor he has this uh, speckling on him that looks like he's been in a sandstorm which looks looks really nice now let's move on to the next figure or should i say the next pop and we have the do back right here for you guys let me tell you i like this figure out of both of them i like this one the most um they did a lot of good texturing on him with the scales. He has his hair on the back. The saddle is multicolored on it, different kinds of browns and a tan. He stands fairly well. His head does bobble like the Sand Trooper. I love these big uh, black eyes that they have on here. And on the front of him, he has these nice nostrils. And he also has some of that speckling dirt paint on him as well. Um, his claws, I, w I wish towards the claws they did more texturing, but it's a more smoother texture. And they painted the nails very well. Um, that's pretty much for him overall. Like I said, it's, he's, I like him best out of both of them. Let's get a uh, image of both of them next to each other. Unfortunately, the sand trooper can't sit on this figure. He's just meant to stand next to it, but it'd be really cool if you could somehow just balance him on there. Let's get that in frame for you guys. That would look really cool just to take a quick shot of that, but it's really hard to balance him on there, but overall it does look good. And something that I noticed when I was unpacking these guys from the packaging, they actually comes with a desert backdrop for the back of it. So if you're planning to display this out of the package, you could actually cut that out and place it behind them and it'll make a really good backdrop for them. Overall, I, I like these figures. I'm definitely going to display them somewhere. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and leave a like. Until next time. A uh, nice looking copper accent right here. I really like that detail a lot. These are not the dials you are looking for.